A critical question, which the study of human learning tries to answer, is that how human knowledge is incrementally constructed from experience. To answer this question, let us first consider the following two learning situations we may encounter in our daily life. Scenario 1, you are taking a walk and you will see a dog. You will immediately recognize it as a dog and be ready to apply your existing knowledge to it. Scenario 2, you are browsing websites and you will see an image of a cute animal. You may wonder, what is it? Where is it from? And try to get some information about it. With those two scenarios in mind, now let us look at constructivism learning, a theory about how people learn. It has a profound impact on modern viewpoint about the nature of knowledge. In the constructivism theory, a learner constructs new knowledge through her interaction with the world with two key processes, assimilation and accommodation. Through assimilation, the learner incorporates new experience into an existing knowledge framework without changing that framework. As the learning situation in scenario one, through accommodation, the learner accommodates new experience by changing the internal representation of the external world. As the learning situation in scenario two, as we mentioned before, in human learning, the critical question is, how human knowledge is incrementally constructed from experience. In our work, we try to answer a similar question in machine learning. How a model is incrementally constructed from samples. Inspired by the human learning theory constructive them learning, we propose a new learning paradigm. Our goal is to achieve transparency in modeling process. In this new learning paradigm, when we have new interactions with the world, we evaluate whether existing knowledge can generalize well to this new interaction with minor modifications. If not, we conclude that new knowledge should be constructed. Specifically in the context of data analytics, we assume samples arrive sequentially. For each newly introduced sample, we evaluate our trend model and decide whether we should fit the sample using an existing model or we should create a new model if we have sufficient evidence to believe that there is a new learning task in our data site. For more information about constructivism learning, please see our paper, Constructivism Learning a learning paradigm for transparent predictive analytics in KDD 2017.